Hey, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be answering a bunch of MTB questions, so let's get right into it. So, first question is, when to replace MTB tires? Well, with tires, there are these little knobs on the sides, and with those, you can tell like how worn out they are. And if it goes all the way to there are no nubs, then that means your tires are worn out. Though not all tires will have these, so when you get new tires, you want to check that, or when you look at your bike, you want to see if there are any nubs or if there are any remnants of nubs because there might be them but then they just worn out and yeah next question is which saddle should I buy so in my opinion I like the saddle I have now and I like WTB saddles and they have a saddle finder so I'll link that in the description but you can also watch other reviews of saddles and make your decision because it really uh, like boils down to sit bones and uh, preferences like how big your saddle is, how narrow it is, uh, and levels of padding. Next question is can MTB convert to road bike? Number one, how dare you? Number two, uh, no, the geometry is much different, and also the wheel sizes, and uh, just about everything is, uh, well, like, they're both bikes, but you can't really do that, at least not uh, as well as a road bike would work normally. Which MTB helmet should I buy? I personally like the Cali Chakra, which is the helmet I use now, and uh, it's basically a, a great helmet on a budget with one of those back address seat things and a bunch of padding on, on the inside of the helmet, and also a visor and all the good stuff that you want with a MTB helmet. Why... Uh, MTB shoes, uh, you want to get MTB shoes because they are specially made for, for MTB and a lot of, of other things that make them just above other shoes uh, in the market because they, you know, are specially made for exactly what you're doing. What MTB pedals should I buy? I like the Race Face Chesters, uh, and those are what I run now. Though I don't have many experience with other pedals, and I like flat pedals, though there are clip-in pedals. And there's a bunch of researching that you need to do uh, to decide if you want, like, nylon, which is cheaper for pedals, uh, or metal, which is more expensive, but can give, you know, more quality and more uh, accessibility to your pedals. Like, you can just keep using them for an extremely long time, though the plasticky stuff can kind of get dinged up. And uh, the next question is, who invented MTB? Well, the first person to make a purpose-built mountain bike uh, was uh, a guy called Joe Breeze. Next question is, are MCB pedals universal? I'm not exactly sure. Personally, I haven't worried about, uh, like, uh, the size of MTB pedals uh, before. In fact, I didn't even know this was really a question, but uh, I have an article linked in the description. Though the top says, like, uh, MTB pedals are universal, but at the same time, it also says it depends on your crank set, and there are MTB pedal sizes. So, like, I don't know what to do there. Next question is, is tubeless worth it? Now, I've never run tubeless myself, but I've heard from a bunch of other other people that tubeless is worth it though you need the correct supplies like rim tape and stuff like that where do you go to buy a mtb airbag there's actually a website uh, and uh, called db airbags where you can buy airbags and i'll have that linked in the description where to mount a GoPro for MTB? Now, the most common places and the best working places are either a chest mount or, like, if you have a full face helmet uh, mounted uh, on the chin part. And that's all the questions I have for today. If you like the video, consider subscribing. I'll see you next time. Bye!